My hair is getting out of control. I don't know what to do with it. Oh. Hey Spurs, how's it going? I hope you're well. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Whether it's your first video or not your first video, welcome and I hope you're gonna enjoy it. As you know, I always like to signpost towards good causes in my videos. So if you would like to get involved and contribute towards something that can really make a difference, then please consider donating anything that you can towards the global efforts of the international preservation of lesbians. Or if you'd rather put your efforts towards something that's actually necessary and actually exists, then please hang about to the end of this video where I'm gonna signpost towards a petition that is actually going to be helpful. But first, I'm sure you're all wanting a little bit of context behind this video, so let's talk about the LGB Alliance, their claims, and why their claims that lesbians are going extinct is very, very false. So the LGB Alliance are at their transphobia again, and this time they're claiming that lesbians are going extinct because of trans people. Because, and let me just check my notes for a second, they claim it's deeply uncool, is so uncommon, and is now bottom of the heap to be a lesbian. The heap of what? I'm not sure. As a bit of background, the LGB Alliance are anti-trans. They are basically an anti-trans hate group who act under the guise of simply focusing on gay rights and not focusing on the T, when actually everything they do is about rolling back trans rights and they're doing absolutely nothing to actually progress gay rights whatsoever. They're just obsessed with trans people and taking away trans rights. So them trying to blame some conspiracy theory of imminent lesbian extinction on trans people really doesn't surprise me. What does surprise me though is that they are still really trying to claim that they're not transphobic, despite openly not wanting any reform on the Gender Recognition Act to happen in the UK, and this is a process that would just make it easier for trans people to live their lives in the UK and would not affect anybody who is not trans. It's very strange to be against a reform of this, but they are. And they also say things like, lesbians don't have penises, a lesbian is a biological woman who is attracted to another biological woman. Based Basically, they're calling trans women men and saying that trans women cannot be lesbians. In this latest turn of events, they are claiming that lesbians are going extinct. With absolutely no backing to this claim, they just decided to say it. When in reality, when you look at the numbers, about 1.4% of women identify as lesbian. And on the other hand, the number of trans men is estimated to be about one in every 2,000 people. That's 0.05%. Meaning that for every one trans man, there's roughly 28 lesbians. Doesn't really seem like there's any extinction going on there. On top of this, trans men who are straight, so trans men who are attracted to women, and who may have identified as lesbians before they transitioned, make up the smallest group of trans men. Trans men are much more likely to identify as bisexual or pansexual. This is relevant because groups like the LGB Alliance are trying to claim that lesbians are becoming extinct because more of them are transitioning into men. But if this were the case, what we'd expect to see is a significantly higher proportion of straight trans men, whereas that's just not the case. The LGB Alliance have just kind of decided that because there has been an increase in recent years to the number of referrals to gender identity clinics and an increase in the number of people coming out as trans, specifically there has been an increase in the number of people who were assigned female at birth now coming out as trans men or seeking help from gender identity clinics, they think that this means that lesbians are going extinct, with no real reasoning for this claim other than, oh there are more people coming out as trans, that must mean that lesbians are under threat. I don't get it either. In terms of the increased referrals to gender identity clinics and increase in the number of people coming out as trans, this pattern actually just follows a general pattern of increased transgender support, acceptance and awareness. Makes sense that the more accepted something is in society and the more awareness there is, the more likely people are going to be able to realise that that is the right identity for them and feel comfortable coming out as such. And I don't see how that could possibly be a bad thing. More people than ever before are feeling comfortable enough to come out and live their authentic lives. I think that's amazing. So really the so-called increase in trans people in society just reflects an increase in awareness and support. It's not actually an increase in the number of people who are trans, it's an increase in the number of people who feel able to come out as trans and an increase in the number of people realising that they are trans in the first place. Meaning that the number of trans people now is not skyrocketing, it's not off the charts, it's not increasing at an alarming rate, it's just reflecting a more true number of people who are trans within society. I mean, just to put it in comparison, we also saw the same increase in left-handedness 
as it became less taboo and less stigmatised to be left-handed. You don't see right-handed people getting interviewed about how they're worried they're becoming extinct. It's common sense that as something becomes less discriminated against and more accepted, that more people are going to be open about having that identity or trait or whatever. It doesn't actually reflect a true increase in the number of people with that trait, just the number of people being open about it. Final point here is that actually what we are seeing is not just an increase in referrals to gender identity clinics and people coming out as trans, but a general increase in the number of LGBT people coming out in the population, full stop not just trans, LGBT as a whole group. Acceptance of the whole LGBT plus community is still on the rise and as it's rising, so is the number of people realizing and feeling able to come out. So moving on from the ridiculous claim that lesbians are somehow becoming extinct because of trans men, the specific members of the LGB Alliance who made these claims also said, we are both convinced had we been growing up now, that we would have transitioned. To me, this really sounds like they're claiming that learning about being trans and learning about the trans community will make people trans, or at least make people think they're trans. This is literally just homophobia from 10, 20 years ago, but this time being aimed at trans people. Transphobia is just recycled homophobia Confirmed. And it's miserable to see people that likely face the homophobic version of this now dishing out the transphobia. Alongside lesbian extinction, they also bring up Kira Bell, who's a detransitioner who recently won an awful case in the UK, which now makes it virtually impossible for under 16s to access puberty blockers. She's made life significantly harder for trans kids in the UK, worried a lot of people, upset a lot of people. This has caused harm. Despite the fact that Kira Bell actually started transitioning after the age that she's now made it virtually impossible to get treatment at, so she started transitioning 16 plus, she had top surgery in her 20s, realised many years after first starting her transition that she wasn't actually trans, and has openly admitted that even if she had been pushed more to not transition and had been told that it wasn't a good idea, she still would have done it anyway. Really, this is somebody who made a mistake and does deserve sympathy, but does not deserve to be making it harder for everybody else. I would just like to make it very clear that the detransition rate is under 1%. And she is part of that under 1% and she's now made it really, really difficult for that 99 plus percent. The way the LGB Alliance discussed Kira Bell in this article is they state that no human rights organisation has given her support or backing or spoken out in support of her. I'm thinking that's maybe because she's now literally advocating for conversion therapy for trans kids. And last time I checked, organisations such as Stonewall do not look too kindly upon conversion therapy. The final thing I want to talk about today is that LGB Alliance's claim that the reason why lesbians are becoming extinct is because of the disproportionate focus on transgender people in school. Actually, they say transgenderism, but that just sounds silly to me. This is ridiculous because LGBT plus curriculum is only just now properly being introduced into schools in the UK. And this is L, G, B, and T education, not just T education, not just LGB education, LGBT education. But for some reason, the LGB Alliance seemed to interpret the LGBT plus acronym as just meaning the T. And they think that lesbian and gay people can't possibly be included in anything if trans people are also included in the discussion. The new guidance was literally released last year and it means that in all secondary schools, pupils will be taught about sexual orientation and gender identity. Because surprise, both of these are part of the LGBT plus community, so both of these are part of LGBT plus education. Sounds like to me that the LGBT LGB Alliance are just mad that gender identity is being taught full stop. Not anything to do with ratios of education, just the fact that kids are learning about trans people. That's what they don't like. <laughs> Could make up 1% of LGBT plus curriculum and they'd still try and claim that it was disproportionate. In conclusion, there's no real disproportionate increase in trans people or referrals to gender identity clinic in relation to population increases and increases in awareness and acceptance. Transphobia is just homophobia in new packaging, but the annoying kind of packaging. You know like the packaging that scissors come in but you need scissors to open it? That kind of packaging. It makes you go grrr. <laughs> teaching kids about trans people will not make them trans, just like teaching them about gay people will not make them gay. Finally, lesbians are not going extinct. And a beautiful thing, because we have to end this video on a positive, a beautiful thing to have come out of this pile of shite from the LGB Alliance is a whole bunch of lesbians all coming together under the hashtag not extinct 
and posting that lesbians still exist and showing that there are many, many lesbians out there who fully stand in support with the trans community. And I love to see that such a crappy article could elicit such an amount of love for the trans community. So I had to throw that in there. We need something warm and fuzzy in this, right? Final thing, I'm not gonna keep you much longer, but I did mention a petition and a way that you can get involved in the beginning. Well, there is a link to that petition in the pinned comment of this video. And it's basically a petition to get the LGB Alliance to stop being uncritically platformed on UK media. Meaning they wouldn't be able to make media appearances and interviews and do articles like this without a trans person or a trans supportive person also giving their viewpoint as well. This is the least that needs to happen. If this were already in place, the article I'm talking about in this video would have had to have had a trans person speaking out against the ridiculous claims of the LGB Alliance. It's horrible to see transphobic groups still being given a platform let alone being given a platform where they are the only voice there. So please do go check out that petition below. And that's everything for today. If you like this video, think about giving it a thumbs up and subscribing if you want to, but no pressure. And yeah, as always, thank you so, so much for watching. Much love. Bye. I forgot to say I'll see you next time. I will see you next time. Bye.